Hey what is up guys, Weiwei here and welcome to Minotaur and Wargaming. Today in this video I'm going to show you what you need to prepare your miniatures for painting. Once you have built your models and are ready to paint, there are a few things you need before you get started. First thing is a few paintbrushes. Paintbrushes come in all shapes and sizes. They can be bought as a set and could cost a fair bit at times. If you are starting out, saving money and practicing is key, and a set of paintbrushes from the dollar store is the best foundation to practice painting miniatures with. This set of brushes only cost me $5, and it has a great selection of brush types to begin learning with. Since they're a $5 set, you can always replace them when they wear out. Next on the list is a water cup. This can be anything, an actual cup, a spare jar, or an actual purpose-made water cup with grooves for brush cleaning. If it stores water for cleaning your brushes between colors, then it's fine. You will now need a place to put your paint down on. Now this is a controversial one, and it is a palette. There are two kinds, dry and wet. A dry palette is usually a plastic, wooden, ceramic, or metal surface, which could be flat or with cups, which hold your paint. A wet palette is a tray with a lid, and inside is usually a sponge or a piece of baking paper. This is to keep your paint moist and to stop it from drying up while you paint. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna rip the band-aid off. I, myself, exclusively use a wet palette. And I think everyone else should too. I used to use a dry palette, but then once I tried out a wet palette, never go back. I just love it. It's so, so beautiful. And it keeps my paint wet, so uh, what more should I ask for? Bonus time! How to make a wet palette. First, get yourself a flat plastic sandwich lunch container. Then, get yourself a pack of antibacterial cleaning sponges and cut the sponge to size so it can cover the bottom of your container. Get some baking paper and cut it to size. This will sit on top of the sponge. Once you've done that, add some water to the container. This should just show above the surface of the sponge and cover the baking paper. In the water, smooth the baking paper out with your finger, then tip out the excess. And bam! You have yourself a wet palette. Plus, your paints won't dry out. Now, on the opposite end of the moist spectrum, you'll need paper towels. Make sure you have a roll because you'll be drying your brushes off regularly, and it comes in handy when you're doing a paint technique called dry brushing. This I will cover in a future video. Last is model paint. This can be found in many hobby stores which sell plastic models and there are plenty of brands and paint types to choose from. You will need these to add color to your miniatures. Optional extras! Hey man, get a grip. On your miniatures I mean, with a painting handle. This is to hold your miniature so you can avoid touching it with your fingers while you paint. This can be made out of some blue tack and a spare wine cork, or an old paint container, but you can also purchase a purpose-built one like this one here. This allows for an open view of your model on more angles, allowing you to paint hard to reach areas without your fingers getting in the way. Now you have everything you need to paint your miniature. It is now time to prepare your miniature for painting. So this will require a quick cleanup and a base coat of primer. To clean your miniature, grab a spare soft toothbrush and give it a once over. This should remove any fine dust or thin strands of glue or shaven plastic you have left on the model when building them. There are three ways you can prime your miniature. You can prime it via a paintbrush, spray can, or an airbrush. But in this demonstration, I'll leave the airbrush out, as I'll address it in a future video. To base a model with a brush, get a color you're going to mainly use on your palette, and thin it just a little. Then cover your entire miniature with an even layer. Avoid pulling the paint in small details, as they might become hidden under a thick coat. Do as many thin layers until your entire model is a solid color. To spray can prime your miniatures, Grab some blue tack and a short thin piece of timber. This will become your spray stick. Roll the blue tack into a ball and stick it under the base of your model. Then stick the base down on the stick. Once they're on the stick, make sure to go outside and shake your can for a solid minute or two. And then do a test spray to clear out the spray can of any clear spray. Once you see a solid spray color, give your miniatures a spray of paint in short, even bursts. Make sure to get around the miniatures to cover the entire model. Once your model is dry, make sure to check for any missed spots that your can couldn't reach, and use the same color to cover up any missed sprayed areas. Your miniature is now ready for painting. Nice. In the next video, I'll be covering basic painting techniques to use on your miniatures to get them tabletop ready in no time. 
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button below. And if you have any friends which are new to the hobby, please make sure to share this with them. For future videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you're updated whenever I upload. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, all the links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.